So first of all, thank you so much for being here in Brussels and supporting our event with the big question, safety first, question mark. Um, Lynette, you are the CEO of Natural Machines, a manufacturer of 3D printers. What is 3D printer, like food printing? What does it mean? I'm actually a CMO or co-founder. I don't want to put my CEO ah, out of okay. placement. <laughs> but basically, you're practically already eating 3D printed food today if you eat anything from a food manufacturer. Because what a food manufacturer does is they take food, they push it through machines, they shape it, and they form it. We've taken that exact same concept and shrunk it down to a design kitchen appliance, but the big difference is we allow you to use your own fresh real ingredients. So it's getting back into your kitchen and cooking with proper food. I always get the question of um, people asking, how does it taste? Does it taste like normal food? Does it taste differently? I mean, how can you imagine 3D printed food? The way we're doing 3D printed food is it's as, it tastes as good as the food you put in. Because what we do is we ship with empty stainless steel food capsules. So it's your food. What we are not is like the Nespresso's where you need to buy pre-filled coffee capsules and use pre-filled food capsules. We don't do that. So you are actually using your own fresh, real ingredients. So it's proper food. It tastes as good as the food that you put inside of it. What is the impact? Because I know that uh, 3D printed food works already in some hospitals. So, so what can be the impact of 3D printed food? I mean, I know that you have also this impact vision. So what is it exactly that you want to achieve? Well, there's a lot of big macro trends happening right now where people really want to know where their food is coming from and what exactly is in it. So the whole reason why we started this is to get people away from those processed foods that we've become over-reliant on because we're a society that's short on time. So it's really designed to get people back into eating healthier and eating fresh, proper food. So once you do that, you're following those macro trends about really understanding what's in your food and where it comes from and having personalized, customized food for you, not just relying on generic foods that are on the supermarket shelf. I always end with a broader question of what's your vision? What's your vision of the future when you think about uh, food and, and technology? I mean, is your vision that we don't cook anymore and just have <laughs> printers in our kitchen? Or what do you want to achieve? It's actually quite the opposite. That It's not the vision where nobody knows how to cook in two generations because you press a button and food magically appears. It's not the Star Trek replicator just yet. With the way we're doing things, it's a kitchen appliance that brings you back into your kitchen, so you actually get more engaged with your food. You're not buying a box of something frozen to throw it in the oven. You're actually making things from scratch. So our view of the future is that it's not going to be less real food or a pill versus food proposition. Our vision of the future is it actually will continue to be very fresh food and even more so because we'll be able to have kitchen appliances like Foodini and 3D food printing to help us make those fresh foods faster and easier than we can now. What do you tell people in one sentence who are really afraid when they hear about 3D printers and 3D printed food? What do you tell them in one sentence in order to not make them concerned anymore? That this is real food, 3D printed, and if you eat anything from a food manufacturer, you're already eating 3D printed food. Okay, thank you so much for this interview. I'm looking thank you. forward to the discussion, and uh, thank you so much again. Thanks for having us.